glory to Jesus. So it is important that you as a child of God know that in the kingdom of God, there are no lazy people. Every person has been given a seed to labor for the kingdom of God. So if you are not laboring for the kingdom of God, then something is wrong. Check yourself. Go into consecration. Go into prayer. Say, Father, I don't know. I want to, to have an impact. I want to be fruitful. I want to multiply. Help me to discover what you have called me to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So nobody is lazy in the kingdom of God. If you are lazy, something is not right somewhere, somehow. Because this was Paul saying, you have seen us, we have demonstrated ourselves. Through by being exemplary, you have seen us working for food. We do not just accept your food and not pay for it. Everything that we have received, we have paid for, we have worked for it. So this thing of having Christians who are thinking that they're not going to pray, just receive blessing, miracle money. There's no miracle money. Unless you have labored. Farmers, they always sow. Have you sown in prayer to say, to bring the needs to before the throne of God? Have you told the Lord, Father, I'm doing everything in your kingdom, but I'm still suffering. I don't know what we are going to eat with my children. Father, I'm coming before you as my Jehovah Jireh. I pray, I pray before you, my Father. You are to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. Hallelujah. Father, you said you'll never leave me nor forsake me. Hallelujah. But we are praying knowing that you are making an impact in the kingdom of the Lord. So you do have a legal right to come to your father and ask for things. He says, you parents, when your child asks for bread, you don't give them snake. Hallelujah. How much more if I'm able to take care of the lily of the valleys, I'm able to take care of the birds of the sky, I'm able to take care of the plants and clothe them. How much more can I do for you? He was telling us not to be worried about what to eat, what to drink and what to wear. He will take care of those things. But while we take care of his kingdom, while we obey his command, while we yield to his instruction, then the Lord will take care of us. Matthew 6 verse 30, they said, Six, they seek the Lord and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added. He's saying there's a part that you need to play to discover what seed you carry. Then the seed of your labor shall work for the kingdom of the Lord. Everybody will see what seed you are carrying because you'll be making an impact in people's life. You'll be empowering people. You'll be healing people. You'll be inspiring people. Hallelujah. Because the spirit that you carry is a spirit of, 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 of multiplication. This is a spirit of fruits. The fruit of the spirit will be birthed out of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Paul, Silas, and Timothy were teaching the brethren in the church of the Thessalonica that they must do their duties for work. Hallelujah. That as they are the children of the Lord, they are expected to work. And in the kingdom, there are no lazy workers. There are no lazy laborers. Hallelujah. We all work. Glory to Jesus. So it is imperative for us to know what gift do we carry. Glory to Jesus. We don't, lay, we don't want lazy Christians who don't know what they are here for. They just want to come and sit and listen for the service. But you have something to offer. The Lord has given you something. There's a gift that is, 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 is locked up on the inside of you. It just takes you to to have time with God and find out and unleash it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So here in Matthew chapter 13, the Lord was explaining the stories about planting of seeds. Hallelujah. You will read that on your own time. Hallelujah. But on verse 23, the Lord says, But what the seed that fell on good ground that seed is like the person who hears the teaching and understands it. That person grows and produces fruit sometimes a hundred times, more times 60 times, more and times 30 times more. Hallelujah. He says, if you receive the seed of your word, the seed of your word will produce more seeds 
which will be seeds of your gifting. Those gifting that will make an impact for the kingdom of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says those people will produce sometimes a 30-fold, 60-fold or 100-fold of those seeds. Hallelujah. So find out what is your seed and work on it. And you will see how your life will be.